hello guys you are welcome back to prospect channel tv thank you very much for late stopping by please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not thank you very much once again may god bless you all biafra nation no going back namdekano has once assured his followers and supporters according to kano through his lawyer ifan ejefo he said the federal government of nigeria wants to make the biggest mistake if they try to execute their plan against him. Nandekano said evil plan against him, that this will be, you know, the biggest mistake Nigerian government will make. Though he did not specifically, you know, state what the President Mamadou Buhari government, you know, want to execute. But earlier today, the Kano's younger brother, Kano Mata, Kano said, the U.S. government have finally intervened in Mazen Nandi Kano's case as President Mohamed Buhari's plan to sentence him in the next court hearing. You understand? Nandi Kano's younger brother reviewed that. Maybe this would be the reason why Kano, Nandi Kano is saying that the president of Nigeria and the government, that is President Mamadou Buhari government, will make the biggest mistake if they ever execute that their evil plans against him. He has assured his followers and supporters that Biafra nation can never be negotiated, whether he's dead or he's alive. Biafra must surely be achieved. You understand? You see, one thing I love about this guy, he's a hero. He's a true hero. He's a man, you know, with his words. Even when Nandekano is facing death, he don't care. He does not care about it. He's focused. What he wants is what he wants. What, is want, what he wants is what he wants to get. That is just the kind of person he is. And that is why the Southeasterners so much believed in him. You know, people will say, their friends are the one ruling the Southeast today. If you, if you ask me, I would say yes. Because their governors, their leaders have failed them. They have betrayed them several times. These are people under their watch. Their people are being killed by Fulani herdsmen. Their mothers are being raped in the bushes and their sisters and all that. But they do nothing about it. Because they don't want to say anything that will offend that person when they face a day on or. Uh, on, 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 on top, you understand? So, they're not going to want talk. But then the canon stood and said, enough of this. How can we be watching these people killing us? Why the federal government do nothing about it? The state government do nothing about it? That was the reason why he launched the Eastern Security Network. That is the reason why ESN was launched in the Southeast region to protect their people. But today, the government, their leaders, they don't change the narrative. You understand? They have changed the narrative. These people, they don't kill anybody. They don't hurt. Their mission is to chase those who are killing their people, killing, you know, kidnapping for ransom and all that. But today, they don't change the narrative. So you see the reason why the Southeasterners, they they believe in Mazin Namdekano, you know, so much. Now, coming back to what Namdekano have said, that the Nigerian government will make the biggest mistake if they ever try to execute their evil plan against, against him. Though, what Namdekano's younger brother have said concerning, you know, planning to sentence Mazin Namdekano I don't think it's going to be a kind of shock to Nigerians because even the way the Nigerian governments are playing the game, Kano's court case, you can see it that they are looking for every, every means possible to nail Nandi Kano. The court stroke so many court charges against him. Even as that, AGF Malami is trying very hard to make sure that they find something that we use to nail Mazin Namdekano down. But the truth remains that Namdekano is not the problem of Nigeria. 
Nadikano is not the bandit in the south is in the in the north. I beg your pardon. Nadikano is not the cause of Boko Haram. It's not the cause of hunger and poverty today in Nigeria. In fact, it's, it's even because of all these things that brought Mazin Nandikanu to the picture. Bad governance, nepotism, tribalism, all these ones. And they still they play out. They don't, they don't want to change and they can never change. Because they feel that this country belongs to a particular region. Why? You want to deal with the South. But you are carrying elephant on your head in the north. You are still using your leg to pick cricket on the ground. I know. I am seeing so many reactions by Nigerians here, mostly the northerners, rejoicing and clapping their hands here. But the truth is that so many of them are in IDP camp. Now the Kano said all these things. They are not even worried about all these people. They are not even worried about bandits and Boko Haram killing them. But once you mention Nam the Kano's name, you see all of them jumping and rejoicing as if Mazi Nam the Kano now he carried them put for the one when they day. Now wow. <laughs> now wow, honestly speaking. Nigerian government have to be very careful in this Mazinam the Kanu's case. This case is a very sensitive one. If they make any mistake, that mistake will cost this country so much. So that is the reason why the US government has won. The UK government has won, even when they are not talking before. They know that sentencing Mazinam the Kanu will cause more harm to the country. You understand? So the Nigerian government should think twice before they carry out any, any of their evil, evil agenda, according to Mazin and the Kanu here. I am dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.